Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create many-to-many -many relationships in Power Pivot. So in this example, the many-to-many -many dilemma is represented by this table, these two tables. And we have a customer table where we have customers and they have a preference for products for skin, hair, nails, or teeth. You can see here Jill has a preference for skin and nails and Anne has a preference for hair, skin, and nails. And maybe in the company we have particular categories for products and we have uh, different products that are part of that category. So, so we have four products for a hair category, three for skin, two for nails, and one for a teeth category. And this begs this question, what if I, as a company of these products that makes these products, I want to know what the potential sales opportunity f is for each customer. In, in other words, how much of each product can I sell to this customer? So for example, let's say Jill has a preference for skin and nail products. I can sell three of these skin products and two of these nail products. Now we have this potential sales to Jill here of 720, 1690, 1740, of 4150. And for nail products, 1080 and 1610 for a product for a total of 2690. How do we do this? It's not that easy because when you think about creating relationships between these tables, you're talking about a many-to-many -many relationship. We have many customers that have preference for many colors, and in this table, we have many of those category of those products. Now, I wanna give a shout out to Gerhard Brucko. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly because he provided this solution. It goes into the details on his blog, and it's worth a read. So, let's take our particular tables we have our table for a customer with their preferences, and we have our category table with the products. We're gonna bring this into Power Pivot, and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna make these tables first. Press Control T, turns that into a table. Yes, my table does have headers. I'm gonna call this particular table the customer table. Press Enter, and this particular table, Control T to turn it into a table. And yes, my table does have headers. I'm going to call this table prod category or prod cat, right? And I want to bring it into Power Pivot. So click on the Power Pivot tab, add this to the data model, and you'll see that that table shows up as customer table. Let's add the other table, which is my product category table. I'm going to add that to the data model, still under the Power Pivot tab. Click it, and we are adding it. Now, if I go into diagram view, this is where I can create my relationships easily. I can just drag my product at product four field into the category field, and I want to create some kind of relationship. And you can see Power Pivot says it's not able to because there are duplicate values. And this is an example of a many-to-many -many relationship. And this is something that you natively can't do in Power Pivot, you can't create many to many relationships. There's a way to get around this to help us answer that question where we want to ask, what are the potential sales opportunity for each customer? What we need to do first is create some additional tables, some unique tables for our customer, the unique names that are coming out of there and the unique names that are coming out of the category table. So I'm gonna bring this over here, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and remove the duplicates, go under Data tab, click Remove Duplicates. Uh, yes, my data does have headers. It's called the Customer Header. Click OK. And that particular cell is turned into unique values. I want to do the same thing for Category here. Control c to Copy, Control v to Paste, and Remove Duplicates. My Category does have, my data does have headers. Click OK. And also I want to make sure that my table has unique names here. So let's see if these are tables. No, they're not because I don't have that table contextual menu. Press Control T to turn this into a table. Click OK. Now we have that table tools contextual menu. Call this, we'll call this unique customers. Press Enter. Do the same thing for here. Control T, turning this into a table. Click OK. And now I have my table tools contextual menu under design, call this unique, and I'll just call it uh, 
category, or maybe just prod cat. Press enter. And what we want to do is we want to make some relationships between all four of these tables. So we want to have something look like this, where I have a one to many relationship from a unique customer table to my customer table, customer to customer. Also have a relationship with my unique category table with the category field to this product for field, which is the category. And also have a one to many relationship with the category field from the unique unique category table to this product table. And you can see here there's a there's another field here called potential sales. And I'll cover that a little bit later. This is where we're going to create a measure. I'm going to go back into sheet one and pull these two tables that I just created into the data model. So go into power pivot, click add to data model. It's going to show up here now and do the same thing for my category table or my product category table. Click that add to the data model and it's going to show up there. Pull this down, pull this down. Let's have these in on the top and we're going to create our relationships. So a customer is going to go to customer. That's one, one to many relationship. Category also goes to category here. Product for is the category. It has those values, hair, skin, etc. And also I want to pull this category field and create a relationship to the product cat table and point that to the category field. So I have a one to many relationship. So we're not done here. So let's actually try to answer that question. What are the potential sales for each customer for their product preferences or category preferences? Create a pivot table and let's put it in cell uh, K5. We'll delete this and I'll just put K5. Click OK. And if I wanted to say, OK, I have my customer and they have a product preference for and let's pull up the price that's coming in from this product category table. So this product category table, let's pull in that price. And you notice they're all the same. And that's not what we want. We want to pull in, let's say, for example, let's make an easy example, Jill. She wants nails and skin. And for Jill, nails and skin, the nails combination of the potential sales for nails should be $26.90. And for skin, the potential sales for her should be put $34.30. It's not $114.10 because basically that's just combining everything there. We don't want that. So we need to make another measure and we're going to use the calculate function. Since I'm in the pivot table and it's in power pivot, it's in the power pivot tab, I can create a measure. So I'll go to under measure, create new measure, and I'll just create it under the customer table. We'll call this future sales or maybe just potential sales. Potential sales. Now we're going to use the calculate function. Calculate. Double click that. And what we want to do is we want to sum up all our prices. So I'll use the sum function. Open parentheses. And sum of all the prices, the product category prices. Close parentheses. And our filters. What we want to do a comma, what we want to do is bring in our three tables. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the sum function wrapped around the calculate function and we're going to add these three tables that participate in the many to many relationships. Now the blog post that I referenced, Gerhard's blog, uh, says that what it's doing is it's using DAX's cross table filtering logic. Now I don't have any detailed knowledge of what that does but it's pretty much almost like magic when you think about it. But let's see the output of how it works. So what I want to do is add those three tables. I want to add my unique customer table. So I'll type in unique or UNI to see if I get it. I want unique customer. I want my customer table. So that's going to be customer. And I want my other unique table, uh, comma, that unique product category table. Close parentheses. Let's check our formula, see if there's any errors. No, there are not any errors. Click on the currency, and I because I want that in dollars. Click OK. And it's brought it in. I don't need the sum of price anymore because that was the wrong values. And as I mentioned before, with Jill as our example, our potential sales to Jill is nails 
which is $26.90, which gets reflected right here. And for the potential sales of skin products to Jill, we have our skin products here. Let's select those, and it sums up to $41.50, and we have our values there. It also has our values for each of our other customers and Bob, Jill, Jill of course, and Mike. So this is a way that we can have many-to-many -many relationships with tables and kind of provide an answer to a question of if we have these tables here where we have customer preferences for a product and this category table that has the prices, what are potential sales for these customers? So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.